hopefully I didn't do a wardrobe change. So hopefully nobody's going to comment on the fact that I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing an hour ago. <laughs> Hopefully the, but, the internet trolls stay off that at least, Lisa. Seriously. Um, so let me just say I'm Lisa Stone. I'm the creator of Parenting Aces, and I am joined by Dalton and by Noah. And Dalton, I always screw up your last name, so just say it. Thieneman. Yeah, it's not. Thank you. Wrong. I know I always say it wrong. Um, so Dalton is the creator of Cracked Rackets and all of its adjunct uh, sites and podcasts and uh, everything else, social media channels, you'll have a whole repertoire of stuff going on these days. And Noah Schwartz is here. He is a co-creator and hopefully his partner in crime will join us shortly if he can figure out how to get logged on, um, of Tennis Treat Bag. And Noah, you are a high school tennis player based in Boston. You guys somehow connected with the Cracked Rackets team. And so, first of all, Noah, I want you to tell us a little bit about what Tennis Treat Bag is. And then Dalton, I'm going to have you talk about this partnership and why y'all felt this, this, this was something worth the Cracked Rackets team getting involved with. Um, so, yeah, so that's a good question. Um, I first started out um, Tennis Treat Bag because I wanted to start a movement for high school tennis players who don't have a season because of COVID-19 and I wanted to like get to like organize all of them and like make sure that they're like doing productive things all together. But um, primarily this all started because my grandmother was bored at home. And so I delivered her. <laughs> yeah. She's bored at home. I love it. Yeah. Um, Every great story starts that way. No, become a bigger awesome. thing if I got like everybody I know from tennis across the country to join in on me. So yeah. Okay. Hey, you keep talking. I have to send this link um, <laughs> to Zach and um, y'all keep talking though. So yeah, so Noah, take us from there, right? So your your uh, grandmother was bored at home. Uh, your high school season was suspended. Um, how did you put two and two together that high school players across the country were kind of in the same boat that you were and, you know, using that as an opportunity to help combat, uh, the most affected Sorry, communities. Um, the connections like lost. Um, I think I heard part of your question. Um, well, the reason why I put two and two together with high school tennis and my grandma was because I just know like a lot of people throughout the years of playing tournaments nationally. I know a lot of kids from that. I know, I know your brother Presley from tournaments. And um, so I just thought it'd be a good way to like spread this movement because um, there's just so many kids that I've met throughout the years playing tennis and it's a good way for it to go nationally, I guess. So. Still yeah. texting with, um, with Zach sure. well, here. Well, so no, so you come up with the idea, uh, which A is brilliant. So kudos to you. I don't know if I've, I've told you that directly yet. So kudos for, you know, the ingenuity of coming up with the idea to begin with, but getting something like this off the ground is a whole nother beast itself. Lisa can attest to this. For sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> um, so what, what's the first steps for you? Um, like, where did you go? Who did you contact um, to get this thing off the ground? Um, well, I started off on Instagram because you can't go wrong with Instagram. And um, I've been reaching out to a lot of my friends, um, my cousin, Zach, I took on as um, I made him president. I started this three weeks prior to making him president, but um, he's been helping me grow um, tennis tree bags on, on what do you call it, on um, on Instagram. And so it's been good. We've gotten a lot of good feedback. We got Wilson and Babalot reaching back to us. Um, we have Crack Rackets, of course. We've had um, Venus Williams, a tennis brand, 11. Um, I think they're willing to help out. And um, so, yeah, everyone's like, everyone's being very uh, helpful with this and everyone wants to get behind it. A good movement. So tell us exactly what it is you're doing. Like, what is a tennis treat bag? Who does it go to? And sorry, my um, the guys are cutting my grass right now, <laughs> so um, it's a little loud here. But um, yeah, so what's what's in a tennis treat bag? Who is it for? And how do you decide who gets them? So in a tennis treat bag, um, it mainly consists of First of all, water, um, granola bars, um, oranges, sometimes treats, uh, chocolate, um, gummies, 
um, chips. It really depends on what people want to include, but um, I made it pretty um, pretty clear what people should include in the in the guidelines on on my Instagram. Um, but also some personal touches people can add are like Sudoku, um, other types of like puzzle games to like keep people occupied at home. Um, and it's mainly for people who are at home, like elderly people, people who are immunocompromised. And um, some people I was talking to on my tennis team, they're like, I can't really think of anybody old besides my grandparents. I pretty much just said, like, think of people who live near you, who, who you've seen around you, who are like, who are old. Think of neighbors. If you can't find any old people, think of neighbors. They're, they're nearby. It doesn't require a lot of traveling at all. So, you know, like anyone, it really helps anybody out. So, but it's... Oh. But sorry, we're we're all on stay at home orders. And so how are you accomplishing a getting the products for the bags and b distributing them while maintaining, you know, the order to stay home and also maintaining uh, the sanitary nature of, of the bags? Right. So um, I've been using a mask and gloves when I've been packing the bags. Um, but um, but I want to encourage what I did when I made my bags was that I ordered all of the food from um, Costco online. And mm -hmm. the reason why is because that just prevents me from going to a food store. So that right. just prevents people from going to a food store. And I'm not, I'm not trying to like get more people to get out of their houses and go to food stores. That's like, that's kind of like counterintuitive. But um, if people can order online, then I feel like it would just be way more efficient. And also Costco and BJ's, they're also, they're wholesale clubs. It'll make everything cheaper for all the other teams out there who want to like participate. It's just going to make it cheaper for everyone. And um, the way I want to do it is I want to have one person on each tennis team um, be assigned to order all the food. Made and by doing this, it just like, um, I guess it just makes it easier for and it's more organized. And then I'd have the person who's assigned buying all the food, they distribute all the food to their team. And I want, I want each team member to roughly distribute around 10 bags. And so, um, the, the person who was the leader would give each team member 10 of each item that they bought instead of having each person go out to food stores or buying Costco delivery because it's just going to make everything easier. So, and, and how do you suggest that they get the items to their teammates? Because again, we're under stay home orders and no contact and all of that. Right. That one leader would have to take their car and um, drop things off at front doorsteps, but obviously no contact would be made. They'd be six feet apart from everybody. Um, just the ingredients would be the, the ingredients would be dropped off, but that's it. There's like no like human contact, really no, no connection, just drop off the ingredients at the door. And are, are y'all including a note or something in the bag? So the recipients know who it's yeah. from and yeah. how so are you doing that? I made, I made a note, um, on behalf of my Brookline tennis team. And, um, I'd like other kids to do that too. I, I'm going to put like an outline, um, on the Google doc of like what, I already put like a picture of my letter of what it looked like and kids on other tennis teams can kind of mimic the same letter. They can make their own letter or they can just fill in the blank, put their tennis team in, in the letter. It's really up to them. But um, this is the cover page right here of my bag. I have my, um, what do you call it? My high school logo right here. And then I have the tennis treat bag logo right there. The Love it. Nice. High school, the high school tennis team and also tennis treat bag. So, so, so no, are you, you're just printing out that document and putting it on the front? of right. the bags is that right. okay because yeah. that was one of the questions that that we got yesterday uh when we started reaching out to programs locally um if they were just bags that they had to order through you or if they could just print out the logo um so that yeah that answers that question i, I, I kind of want to go back to the component um you said a coach or a, a team captain of of each team will kind of coordinate everything can you talk about that a little further i know you went into it a little bit there but like wouldn't when, when you know lisa or uh, cracked rackets or whoever wants to reach out to their local teams, what's the best way to coordinate? Um, best way to coordinate reaching out to people's teams. Wait, what was your, what was your question? Yeah. So, so when we, yeah, sorry, it was a little convoluted. Uh, <laughs> when you, when you first reach out to, you know, the high school in your area. So when yeah. we reach out to Carmel high school or North central here in Indianapolis, yeah. um, you obviously send the link to the Instagram, you give, you know, the instructions that you have on the Google drive, but uh, kind of take us from there. So if the player or coach, um, you know, wants to do this and they're on board, where do they go from there? Um, well, first off, they'd have to, um, they'd have to contact their team. They have to tell the team um, what this is all about. 
and you're going to have to count how many people are interested in doing this because some kids, their parents are not letting them leave the house. They're not like the parents aren't letting them really participate in anything outside the house. So that could also be a struggle. And the more people you have, the better it is because um, more people are included and it also makes costs cheaper because the more people you have, it's just going to make everything more efficient. Um, but yeah, so like um, I'm trying to reach out to some coaches, but obviously not all coaches have Instagrams. It's, it's mainly from like one kid who, who found tennis treat bags on Instagram and they're reporting to their coaches. And um, that's pretty much how it's being spread as of right now. So there's a high school coaches Facebook group. Um, so I plan to share this conversation there once we're finished. And hopefully that will drive a lot of traffic your way. For those people listening, if they want to get involved, how do they get started? Do they contact you? And if so, how? Phone, text, email, what? Um, just Instagram message me. Um, I if could, they're not on Instagram, though? On Instagram, um, I'm going to provide contact details on my, uh, on my, what do you call it? Um, I'm going to be making a Don't website. Don't say on your Instagram page. Yeah. No, I was, I was about to plug the website, too. So um, I'm glad you got there. Yeah, so I'm I'm in the process of developing a website which will have all the contact information on there. Great. Um, so yeah, that that's in the process of being made. So, I'll do you have a URL for that yet? Uh, not yet. Okay. I think it's going to be um, bags. Well, you broke that's up there. Say it again. I think the the domain name is going to be tennistreatbags.org because tennistreatbags.com was taken. Um, so I'm going to go with the .org and um, that will shortly bags. be up. Bags with an S on the end? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just writing this down because I'm going to type it into the comments on the stream uh, before I share it. So hopefully, you know, people will be able to get there. Um, you know, up until that time, can I, is it okay if I share your Gmail address? Yes. I love that. Yeah. It's Noah okay. D. Schwartz 33 at gmail.com. Um, so if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to contact me and I can answer all questions. So. Fantastic. And what is your goal overall with this? I mean, do you see this ending as soon as the COVID-19 stay at home order is lifted? Or is this something you'd like to see continue or evolve? I, I know Cracked Rackets, Dalton, you are the king of, well, we just want to do this. And then, oh my gosh, now we're here. And oh my gosh, now Tennis Channel has us doing all this work. So you, the um, sky's the limit, yeah. right? Right. I mean, life is never going to be perfect. Like even after COVID-19, there's still going to be like a ton of issues out there um, regarding poverty and like um, homelessness and all that. So like if we build a big enough like platform where we have like a ton of high school players like wanting to make an impact, I feel like we can do a lot besides just helping out people in regards to COVID-19. So that's what I'm this hoping. This guy's got a vision, Lisa. This guy's okay. got a vision. I love it. I, well, I love it too. And Dalton, how come y'all are involved? What was the connection for you? Yeah, so uh, Noah's kind of touched on Instagram being the focus of, you know, getting the word out and spreading the word. Uh, Zach couldn't make the call today or he's about to, I guess. But no, no, he couldn't get on. <laughs> he's been texting um, me. He's having technical issues. Um, but yeah, Zach was the first one that direct messaged us and uh, it's funny these days, Noah, you, you know, you mentioned the importance of social media, but it's crazy how a direct message can kind of change things or get the ball rolling with an initiative like this. So that's how it started. Uh, Zach reached out to us actually, uh, I think it was Monday, maybe Sunday night of this week. And right when we got the message, you know, we didn't have to move it up the chain or anything else like that. We heard the idea. I said, Zach, you know, send us some more information. He sent us the, the Google link and right away we're like, this is definitely something we want to be a part of. Um, and yeah, here we are. That's awesome. Well, I, I hope the Parenting Aces community will step up as well. And, you know, Noah, I don't know how much you know about what we do, but we're a platform for tennis parents and we have a lot of parents and a lot of coaches um, that follow us. So my hope is that by having you on to talk about this, that we'll light the fire under some of the parents and coaches that are watching and they'll light the fire under their high school players to get this going in their own communities. I think it's a fantastic initiative and hats off to you um, for thinking outside the box. I, this is a time where people are either, you know, 
cocooning and and saying woe is me and I you know my life is over because tennis has shut down or they're doing what you're doing Noah and stepping up and saying okay time to get creative time to think outside the box there are other things we can do as a tennis community to make ourselves useful to make ourselves necessary to stay relevant and to serve a higher purpose whatever that is and you have certainly found that for yourself and for tennis treat bags. And I, I'm really excited that you were willing to come on and share. I'm really happy that Dalton reached out and, um, you know, this all worked out great, but if there's anything we can do at Parenting Aces, let me know. I, you know, as soon as your website's live, um, let me know that and I'll push it out, uh, through our social channels too. And let's drive some traffic your way and get this thing just snowballing. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you guys stay safe. Keep doing great work. Dalton, love the content over at the Cracked Rackets team. I, I can't even name all the stuff y'all are doing now. It's gotten so big, but um, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. And, 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 and you too. Thank you for, um, you know, getting us on as quick as you did, because I hit you up yesterday and it was like, let's, let's, you know, get this done. So thank you for uh, spreading the word. And Noah, again, just like Lisa said, most people are, you know, worried about their families or their own situation and, you know, the unprecedented times that we're in. And it's it's people like you that are, you know, there's actually goodwill still out in the world. So thank you. Uh, it's very commendable what you're doing. So keep up the good work. Thank you, Dalton. All right, guys. Good luck. Stay well. Stay home. And hopefully I'll see you both out on the court sometime real soon. Yes. Looking forward to that time, Lisa. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.